All right, guys, welcome back to another reaction video. My name is James, and today we're going to be watching Avatar, The Last Airbender, um, Season 1, Episode 5. So I do want to say this. Apparently, the entire world decided to go under construction while I was filming this episode. So if you hear a little bit of like, beep, beep, I'm sorry, I apologize. It's the stupid construction people. Now, <laughs> all that being said, um... We just watched the Kyoshi Warrior episode, which was one of the coolest episodes so far. Obviously, super, super, super cool design. We found out a little bit more about Aang's backstory, some of the other avatars, um, who he used to be. We got to see a little bit more of our boy Zuko and how he shapes up, even with the Kyoshi Warriors, which I thought was pretty impressive. Um, the fact that he was sort of holding his own and actually beating up a lot of them. And then, you know, we had some development with Sokka. Uh, actually, a ton of development with Sokka. So last episode was kind of Sokka's episode. I'm still waiting for Aang to really uh, click with what's going on. Um, I still think he's kind of acting a little bit immature. Like I said, I know some people in the comments were like, oh, it's denial, it's immaturity, it's a little bit of both. Probably is. I don't know. I'm waiting for that to click yet, and I feel like it, it hasn't quite yet. So I'm curious to see where we're going to go from here. And I think this is very close, if not right up to the point where... Um, I, I stopped watching, and I am just completely, completely blind in this show. So I'm very excited. As always, though, full length reaction is going to be up on our Patreon. Next week's Avatar reaction is also going to be up on our Patreon if you guys want to go ahead and check that out. And yeah, um, thank you for being here. Thank you for joining us and watching. And let's just get into Avatar, The Last Airbender, Episode 5. The King of Omashu. Okay. That sounds... Interesting. Oh! Oh, 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 I think this is the final episode I saw. I, I, they have buildings here that don't melt. Well, let's go, slow folks. The real inside the city. Oh, let's get to skipping, young whippersnappers. The big city. <laughs> He's a pretty good actor. This is a really cool design. Obviously, how, like, the earth itself is creating the architecture of the kingdom. Super cool. Are the friendliest in the world. Rotten cabbages? What kind of slum do you think this is? <laughs> oh no! Oh no! No, oh, my cabbages! Yeah, well, you know, in the same world these people are friendly, it's the same world the air people are still alive, so. Stick your business. Oh jeez, bro! My business is my business, young man, and none of yours! I've got a- <laughs> Zucopolis, the third, and these are my grandkids. Hi. Bro, forget the airbender, you just gotta start acting. You seem like a responsible young lady. See that your grandfather stays out of trouble. Enjoy your mashu. We will. That's a pretty accurate assessment, honestly. She's responsible, he's always getting in trouble. Oh no. Sokka. You're a strong young boy. Carry your grandfather's bag. <laughs> Good idea. How are they gonna get- is it like a lock? Oh, that's cool. That's so cool! The way you can see the difference between the levels, because they changed the animation, that's really cool. Ah, earth ending brings the packages up. Oh, that's cool! Gravity brings them down. Great, so they get their mail on time. They do Dude, this is insane, Sokka! You gotta open your brain to the possibilities. <laughs> a package sending system? I love this kid. The world's greatest super slide. <laughs> I mean, just look at those eyes, bro. <laughs> oh, dang. Oh, oh my gosh. How is that fun? It's important that you be prepared for anything. <laughs> Except that. Egg. Oh my gosh, they're going so fast. Oh my gosh. Oh, this poor man. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's just funny. The humor is so stupid, but I love it. My cabbages! Traveling under false pretenses and malicious destruction of cabbages. Off with their heads! One for each head of cabbage! Um, a feast! <gasps> uh, 
the, the guy with the cabbages reacted like that's happened before. <laughs> He's like, oh, again? Is it just me, or is this guy's crown a little crooked? I hear that place is really hopping. I liked it. <gasps> the Avatar. What gave it away? The tattoos? And don't run with your spears. We'll see you next time. Yeah, no. And I think those are Naginatas, but maybe I'm wrong. Lettuce leave. <laughs> We're in serious trouble. <laughs> The way they come in with the little organ bit, too. Aww. Well, no point arguing about it now. Get some rest, dang. Looks like you'll need it for tomorrow. I feel like, I feel like there's gonna be like a sneak attack or something. Like, we're not just gonna sleep. Yeah! Sokka? I knew Katara? it, dude. Where are my friends? He didn't say. Your staff, please. He needs his staff, man. It's like Gandalf. First, Avatar. What do you think of my new outfit? I want your honest opinion. <laughs> it just doesn't look really good on you, dude. It, the green is better. I think. I mean, it kind of clashes with the room. Excellent. You've passed the first test. Really? Yeah, I would have died. Not one of the deadly tests. Those delightful rings are made of pure genomite, also known as creeping crystal. It's a crystal Wait. that grows remarkably fast. Oh, that's so cool. Like playing with the elements and the city that we're in. I think that's awesome. Oh, wait, that's awesome. I mean, I feel worried, but like also that's cool. <laughs> oh, dang, dude. Is he even using airbending? He's just jumping. Ooh, climbing the ladder. No one's thought of that before. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, nice. Oh, no. Oh, nice. <laughs> Ims, I've lost my pet Flopsy. Okay, found him. Bring him to me. Uh-oh. Oh. <laughs> what the heck? This is like a Pokemon or something. The animation on this is awesome. A minute. Is that's Flopsy, isn't it? It's totally Flopsy. Flopsy? <laughs> Guys, are you okay? Um, no. Yeah, my... she's got a full crystal dress on now. I choose you. <laughs> Joyce. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we got a buff, Grandpa. <laughs> oh, no, dude. Oh, whoa. He's, like, good at, air, at uh, earth bending. Can I fight the guy with the axe instead? <laughs> there are no take-backsies in my kingdom. Avoid and evade. I'd hope the Avatar would be less predictable. <laughs> well, usually that's the best strategy. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Shoot. Oh, nice. Dude, that like whole air ball thing is so powerful. Did someone leave the windows open? <laughs> With the dumb music. <laughs> That's an awesome shot. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, dang! Oh, oh. That was sick! Oh, no. He's just gonna lift up the crust of the earth? Yeah, oh, yeah, he is. Great. Dang! What the heck is that? Oh, jeez, Aang! Holy dude! He's a mole, too? Now, you must answer one question. That's not fair! Yeah, you did say three tests, bro. What is my name? No, I got it! 
Yeah? He's an earthbender, right? Rocky! <laughs> We're gonna keep trying, but that is a good backup. We're gonna keep trying? Oh, I love you, Sokka, man. He's the best. I solved the question the same way I solved the challenges. As you said a long time ago, I had to open my brain to the possibilities. <laughs> <laughs> Boomy, you're a mad genius. Yep. Oh. a boy. Yes, I mean, I, I did kind of know that, but... Aang, you have a difficult task ahead. The world has changed in the hundred years you've been gone. It's the yeah. duty of the Avatar to restore balance to the world by defeating Fire Lord Ozai. I hope you will think like a mad genius. Dang. We have a full mission. I have a challenge for you. <laughs> <Yeah>! <laughs> Oh my gosh! That was an interesting episode. Um, I liked. I, I will say, like the Kyoshi Warrior episode is is more my style. I still did like this episode. Um, and I did like that it was more Ang focused. Um, he's a really interesting character, and I'm curious to see where they go with him. Right, I, I hear everybody talking about okay, the show is going to mature and different things like that, and I, I'm sure it is. But right now, he's not especially, especially him. And at the same time, his character kind of has this fascinating ability to draw out the kid in other people. You saw it with Katara. Um, you see it with Boomy. At the end there, being like, okay, sure, there are, are problems and, and things in the world, but, um, you know, there's joy in life. There's happiness. There's little moments that we can get. We don't have to always get caught up on the big things, the gigantic, horrible conflicts, which is interesting. Now, I think he goes a little too far in that direction. I think even in this episode, he went a little too far in that direction. I almost wish there had been a little bit of uh, ramifications for that. Like, he was going through the city and destroying stuff and being really just irresponsible and not, not uh, aware of the bigger task at hand. So hopefully... This is going to act as sort of a catalyst for that because it's, it is really cool, right? The idea of Boomy literally being like, okay, Aang, you know, the air temple had been raided and destroyed. Your master was dead. How can we smack you in the face more with the reality that the world has changed? And the way that happens is with Boomy, right? Boomy is this, this kid. He was a friend of his, all this different kind of stuff. And now Aang is back. He's the exact same as he was back then. And Boomy is an old man who's, who's giving him advice on what to do so quite literally um nothing is the same not he can't hold on to any of that and so I, i'm hoping that this is going to kind of lead to ang letting go of of some of his childishness um because he's realizing everything else is is has to grow it has to change he has to grow and has to change so i don't know I, i'm not exactly sure where that's going to go i think that's going to be kind of a deeper theme that may even be um part of the idea as to why he he was in a comatose state in the first place is that idea of growing up um is terrifying and so he didn't he wanted to keep things the same and while it may have worked for him now that he's back the world is not the same and, and no matter what he does it won't ever be so i don't know we this is the first time we really got a laying out of hey this is your mission you got to find all the four elements and you got to fight uh fire lord ozai for sure and it's his his literally his youth telling him this as an old man which is really cool um in a bit of a dramatic sense if you think about it also um i like seeing a taste of the earth kingdom i liked the armor and the design and the different characters obviously boomy was just hilarious and entertaining i thought that was really fun um i liked the little like goofy uh almost like organ sound uh that would play when he was like making jokes um and 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 if you listen at the end when he talks about who he is that is the first time that we hear that organ sound play with the regular soundtrack almost like the two identities are coming together i thought that was kind of cool i may be totally drawing that out i'm just throwing that out there that was kind of cool um and yeah i, I really like the design of everything i liked seeing the earth bending powers in action um it's always really cool because obviously they're different martial arts but i also feel like just on a strategic level they're different you use them differently. Almost fire and air, I feel like, are the freest. Um, you could use more kind of traditional punches, kicks, air stuff. Oh, throw fire at you. Whereas seeing earth 
uh, bending in action was a lot of fun for me because it's very different. He's using rocks, he's dropping things, the quicksand, right? There's different kind of strategies, elements, and a cleverness to it. And I really enjoyed that. I really enjoyed seeing that. So I'm excited to see where we go from here. I'm excited to kind of see, like I said, I'm almost positive this is the last episode that I had gotten up to. Um, so I think I'm just completely a blind territory at this point, and I'm very, very, very excited about that. I don't really know what's going to happen. I don't know anything um, about a lot of the different characters and different things like that. So I'm excited. I can't wait. As always, full-length reaction is going to be up on our Patreon. Next week's reaction, episode 6, is going to be up on our Patreon. I know, you know, it's like, oh, some of you guys are like, oh, I wish we got more. This is kind of an anime channel, so we're trying to cover a bunch of different genres. That's the idea. So I know it's only one episode a week. Maybe we'll upgrade to two episodes a week later on, but the idea is... You know, we're trying to kind of please a few different audiences. You get four or five videos a week on this channel of anime uh, or anime related in the case of Avatar content. So I hope you guys are cool with that. As always, feel free to leave some theories, ideas, thoughts, things you notice, details. Please don't spoil it, but I love kind of getting those details, that trivia, different things in the comments down below. And yeah, thank you for joining us here. Thank you for watching. As always, full length reaction is going to be up on our Patreon. Next week's reaction is going to be up on our Patreon. And yeah, we will see you all in the next video.